Ready for some classy, laid-back fun? Imbibe in Moses Lake is the place for you. Imbibe has a huge selection of your favorite wine and beer on tap from local brewers. We have kegs to go, and we can fill your growler. Remember that summertime is beer time. Come enjoy our live music on Fridays and make sure to reserve a spot for private parties. What are you waiting for? This is a place to enjoy your favorite drinks with your favorite people. Find us on 3rd Avenue in Moses Lake, Washington, or call us at 509-765-1119. Welcome back. I'm Bob Kirkpatrick with today's sports. The Afraid of Tigers picked up a non-league win over Eastmont on the Diamond at home Tuesday evening. The Wildcats jumped out to an early 2-0 lead in the top of the first inning. The Tigers answered back with five runs off three hits to go up 5-2 in the bottom of the frame. Eastmont loaded the bases with one out in the top of the second, but only managed to bring one home to make it 5-3 Afreda. The Tigers had runners on the edges in the bottom of the inning with two outs, but failed to score. The Wildcats put one on the board in the top of the third on a two-out shot to center field to close the gap to 5-4. Eastmont tied at 5-all on a two-out single in the bottom, in the top of the fourth, that is. The score held up until Lefreda was gifted four unearned runs to take a 9-5 lead in the bottom of the fifth. The Tigers added two more in the bottom of the sixth to win going away 11-5. The win over the Wildcats evens the Freighter's record at 3-3. Three and three. The Tigers are back at it Saturday for doubleheader action at home with Othello. Brad Miller hit two homers, Erasmo Ramirez pitched seven innings of six-hit ball, and the Seattle Mariners beat the Los Angeles Angels 8-3 last night for their second win of the season. Miller's solo shot put Seattle up 5-1 in the top of the fifth. His two-run dinger in the top of the ninth rounded out the scoring for the game. Justin Smoke hit a three-run RBI double in the third, and Abraham Almonte and Dustin Ackley also added RBI doubles in the game. The Mariners, Major League Baseball, and the MLB Players Association have combined to donate $225,000 to assist with the recovery from the deadly mudslide that killed at least 29 people in the rural community of Oso, northeast of Seattle, March the 22nd. The donation announced Wednesday will be made to the American Red Cross Washington Landslide Relief Fund. Volunteers will also be collecting donations outside of Safeco Field before the Mariners' home opener against the Los Angeles Angels next Tuesday night. Russell Wilson is set for another ceremonial showing with the Texas Rangers. The Seattle Mariners, or the Seattle Seahawks quarterback, that is, will throw out the first pitch tonight before the finale of a three-game series between the Rangers and the Philadelphia Phillies. Texas selected Wilson from, the, from Colorado in the AAA portion of the Rule 5 draft December the 12th, a little less than two months before the Seahawks beat the Denver Broncos 43-8 in the Super Bowl. Wilson spent a day in uniform with the Rangers at spring training in Surprise, Arizona, but didn't appear in a game against Cleveland on March the 3rd. Wilson hit 229 in two seasons in the low minor leagues as an infielder in Colorado system in 2010 and 2011. Well, that's it for sports. We'll be right back after this.